everyone. I hope you got your notification. Sunday Adelaide coming your way. Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you all. Okay, who do we have there? Shegu Fatumo. All right. Welcome, Shegu. Then we have Anthony Finch. Akiyemi Adebayo. Obi Ojima do his hair. Victoria Lambert. Mayo Wise here. Rochelle White. Fumi Adewusi. Mike Bosch. Shigo Nwafo. Oyinye Okoro. Ludovic. Charles Uche, Great Great Wealthy Femi, uh, Modupa Ajulo, uh, Tibet Justice, uh, Idek Opok, Jyoti Dowu, Lemi Benga, Thierry Blessings, uh, Lola Shoronke, Irama Shan Sanchez, Joseph Eze, Adaora Emelieze, Olayemi, success. Peter Jonah is here. Layo is here. Uh, James Ilifi. Harold Apineru. Ashish Enoch. Uh, Dustin King. Kazim Ahmed. Gloria Val. Maria Makajola. Welcome everyone. Uh, Xia Fei Dela Cruz, Suzanne Ame, Justin Mayo, Joseph Oyewole, Kang Diagoro, uh, Bola Luro, Takunya Rota, Ayodele Alex, Brad Dressler. Uh, Mika Costavo Fortune. Well, welcome everyone. That's it about it now. We've got to continue. Uh, so, welcome. And uh, let me quickly ask you to go and uh, share the link. Let's quickly go and share this link. I hope you will quickly go and do that so that we could start the teaching on time. So, go share the link. Go share the link as, as quickly as you can. And then we could start from there. So let everyone go share their own link. And we'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to go. All right. If you are through sharing the link, then I'm going to share with you the topic for today. Uh, today we are talking on the topic... In the morning, I started by talking on uh, our net worth, but God took me in another direction, uh, and I was I ended up talking about our worth, our worth as Christians, our worth as individuals, and our worth as as people. But that is actually not what I had wanted to do. I think God, God just took me into that direction. That was not my plan. So uh, because I had given that topic out in the morning. I think I'll better use another topic tonight because uh, I would rather use another title because it could be confusing because there are going to be two totally different things I'll be talking about so that you'll be able to differentiate the two messages. So I'm going to give this message a different title. But you see, I just feel like praying this, this evening. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you will touch your people that are coming, that you are bringing and those who are going to watch the recording or the links or the share, shared uh, link, Father, we pray that you will minister to everyone by yourself. Spirit of God, go, touch everyone. Open their ears, but not just their ears, open their hearts, open their spirit, open their receptive capacities. Let them be able to receive a more and greater debt than they could even have imagined. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. All right. Here we go. Again, the topic. Become great through the currency of time. 
become great through the currency of time. Hmm. You see, the world we live in has kind of lied to us. The world we live in has put people in categories. And this world we live in has kind of convinced us that only a few selected people could be great. And really, that's not true. Everybody potentially can be great. Not only some few people could be great. And to a large extent, sometimes we even think that those who are great are the ones who are handpicked by God. <laughs> nope, not so. God uh, doesn't have favorites. God is not discriminatory. God uh, loves all his children equally. In fact, he loves all his creation equally. God is a good God to everybody. But when it comes to greatness, the question then is, how come only a few are great in the real sense of, it, of the word? How come only a few are great? What about others? Why, why do we have so few superstars? Why do we have so few superstars? Where do we have all other people? Why are other people not great? Well, the truth is, we are not limited by God in this life. We are basically limited by what we know. So it is not God that is deciding who is going to be great and who is not going to be great. It is rather our limitation that decides to what extent of greatness or to what height are we going to arise, are we going to be promoted in life. There is indeed no limitation in life to anybody's height. The only limitation that we all have is the limitation we create for ourselves the limitation of ignorance or the limitation of the mind. The only thing that is limiting you and I from attaining anything is what we know or what we don't know. I want to challenge you today, if you are somebody who follows me, I want to sow a seed into you today, and not just today, every day. I want to sow seeds in you so much that I will sow so much seed into you, you will be pregnant. You will be pregnant of vision. You will be pregnant of projects. You'll be pregnant with life-changing, world-transforming ideas. I want to sow into you the seed of God. The seed of God's nature. The seed that cannot but produce. And it's not just tonight. That's what I'm after every day. Mm -hmm. And that's why I started our session this morning by appreciating and acknowledging the project that many people have started since we, they started listening to me. Everybody is giving back to one project or the other. Some people are right now dreaming of inventing things, entertaining ideas, and started working on leaving their mark in the sand of history before they leave this world. There is no one who was supposed to come to this world and live empty. You are not supposed to be here and not leave something for which you could be called great. 
every one of us has that potential to be great. And every one of us has that seed of greatness in, the, in you already. And if you don't believe it, I'm going to plant it in your mind. It is in you, but you need to know it in your mind. I'm going to plant that seed of greatness in you, in your awareness, in your consciousness, so that you come alive believing that there is nothing you cannot do. And it is true. You are capable of everything and of anything. If you will listen to me consistently for one year, and especially if you go and listen to all the messages, one by one, by the time you are through, you will not just be dreaming of conceiving or giving birth to one thing, you will be sure and you will know that you will have so many projects that you are going to give birth to. And the world, your generation will remember you. And that's the benefit of being discipled by Pastor Sunday. And you see the testimony. You don't need to believe me. You Every Saturday night and every Sunday night, you could come and listen to the stories or go to the recordings that have been there. Go to, go to the blog. Go to the video blog. To my blog, sundayadelagerblog.com. Listen to the recordings, the testimonies of people. You will see that everyone that wants to make something of his life becomes them. And today is one of those days. I'm sorry, Holy Spirit is uh, inter inter interjecting me. There is somebody that is out there watching me that you have growth in your breast. You have growth in your breast. God is, you know, is, is willing to heal you now and he wants to heal you right now. So I charge and I, I command all those lumps, lumps, several lumps, lumps all over your breast, two breasts. I command those growth, those lumps to disappear right now in Jesus' name. I charge them to go away. And whatever the doctors have said, they want to amputate you, they want to cut your breast, they are not going to cut it. God is going to remove all the lumps and all the growth in the name of Jesus. And they will not need to do that operation in Jesus' name. And that other person that is also need the operation in your head, in the name of Jesus, will release the supernatural healing anointing of God to restore and do, to remove that thing from your head, that you will not need to do that operation in the name of Jesus. We release the healing virtue of God upon all of you that are in need right now. That person that is having the problem in the elbow, the right hand elbow, we proclaim healing to you right now in Jesus' name. That the healing virtue of God will touch you and you will be delivered supernaturally in Jesus' name. Well, let's go back until the Holy Spirit interrupts again. So today, I want to talk about greatness. And I want you to look at greatness not as something that is meant for some or reserved for some special people somewhere. I want you to look at greatness as something that is attainable to you. I want you to look at greatness as something that is near you, that is under your power. I want, to look, I want you to look at greatness as something that you cannot do without, as something that you cannot afford not to have. Please, don't relegate yourself into just being the wife of so, 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 and so. Don't relegate yourself into just being the mother of so, 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 and so. Don't relegate yourself into just being the husband of so, so, and so. You can leave your mark. You can do something remarkable. It is easy. It is ordinary. And it is possible. Life is predictable. You can chart your own way. You can break your own record. You can write your own history of greatness. In fact, as a matter of fact, if the Lord Jesus is living in you, and if you know God and you relate to God, 
it is unpardonable for you to leave this world without being or recording some greatness on your account. It's, you have to be extraordinary. You are not just here for survival. You are not just here to make a living. You are not just here to work for salary. You are not just here to mortgage your life for some jobs. You are not just here to mortgage your life for some salary. You are not just here to work and be a slave to some job for the rest of your life. You are more than that. The blood that bought you, the, bro the blood that redeemed you, cost more than that. That blood is not an ordinary blood. That blood is a great blood. It's a blood of greatness. And if that blood has had something to do with you, you have to justify that sacrifice. You've got to justify that redemption. And you've got to believe that mighty God that saved you. But more than that, you've got to believe in yourself. Until you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter how much you believe in God. Only people who believe in themselves are able to do exploits in this world. So you've got to now begin to believe in yourself that yes, I can. That is where the limitation is. The problem is not you believing in God. There's no limitation in God, but there's limitation in you. On this earth, for you to become every, anything, you, you can be limited by how much you believe not in God, but in yourself. God has already done everything from his own side. Now, he's waiting for you to believe him and to believe in yourself. God is not, it's not, you are not waiting on God. God is waiting on you to believe that you can do everything. He's waiting on you to believe that is in you. He's waiting on you to believe there's nothing you cannot do. He's waiting on you to believe that you are capable of doing exploits. So, I said today, become great. Through the currency of time. Let me show you one secret that I've been trying to communicate to you all this while, all this week. And that secret is this. Greatness is an attainment that is bought by, with the currency of time. I want, you, I want that to sink down to you. People who have become great have only become great because they bought that greatness. They bought it. They bought it. They purchased that greatness. They purchased the greatness through the currency of time. Because everything anybody ever attained in life, that person attained it only because he purchased it. He purchased everything, anything anybody has was purchased with the currency of time. In fact, the house you are living in was built and but purchased by you. By the currency of time. The car that you ride on. Was purchased by you. By the currency of time. Because that car. If it, that car. Was, is costing. Let's say. 20,000 US dollars. You invested. A certain amount of time. For you to make. That 20,000 US dollars. Let's say you make $20 an hour. $20 an hour, then you have to work so much days, so many days, and so many years before you could make 
20,000 US dollars. So 20,000 US dollars, therefore, is the amount of time you dedicated to make that money. You gave out a bunch of your life. You gave out a fragment of your life exchanging your life, exchanging your time. Let's say you work for it for you for you for you to make because it, does, it depends on how much money you are making. Let's say it, it took you 10 years. It took you 10 years to make 20,000 US dollars. So 10 years of your life was exchanged for that car. So everything you have in life was bought for the currency of time. But some of you could say, oh, but I didn't buy it. I you know, or I didn't spend so much. I mean, I just took a mortgage uh, or I, uh, I took a loan. Well, the difference between buying cash and buying by loan is that you have, even though you are riding the car right now, but you have sold, the, you are still going to use the currency of time. It is still going to be the currency of time. Why? Because the $20,000, even though it was given to you by the bank, but they are giving to you knowing that you are mortgaging, you are selling 20 years or 10 years of your future. That is why when banks give you money or mortgage or loan for house, you sign a contract with them that you are going to be paying it for the next 20 years or for the next 30 years, which means you are actually mortgaging 20 years. You are The 20 years you have not lived yet, the 20 years of your life that is still to come, you are selling, exchanging the 20 years of your future. You are using 20 years of your future to buy that house or to buy that car. It comes to the same thing. Everything that is ever you have or possess is because you bought it with the currency of time. So is greatness as well. Even greatness is what we buy. True, we buy it through time. It is time that delivers greatness to people. So if you can know how to convert your time, you, you just like you convert your time to a mortgage for the house and you convert your life to a house, you exchange your life for a whole house, for just for a house, a whole life just for a house, and you exchange your life only for a car, a whole life only for a car. That is what is called spending. You are spending life, wasting life, spending life, but not investing life. I'm sorry, there's another person that is out there. You have problem with your right hand. God is healing you. And another lady just joined. You have problem with your lump. I mean, with the growth, growth in your breast. Or this time is, yeah, you, you know, right breast. But I see another person who might have. Another person also have problem with the left hand. Because I mentioned the right hand. The person said, oh, I have problem with my left hand. God is healing you as well. The growth as well. It doesn't matter what, what, what breast. God is healing you too. So, can you imagine... We exchange our whole life, 10 years of life. So when you want to buy that car or you want to buy that house, know what it's costing you. It's costing you not money. That is the deception. It's costing you. You are mortgaging your life. You are breaking your life in pieces. It is your life you are using to buy it. But really, life is not supposed to be used for those kind of mundane things. So how do you have them? <laughs> easy, easy. Life is supposed to be used for fruitfulness. You are supposed to reproduce yourself. How do you reproduce yourself? Find out your calling, find out your talent, find out your gift. Reproduce your gift, reproduce your talent, reproduce your, your promised land, reproduce your gift, your, 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 your value. Reproduce yourself. Once you reproduce yourself, you don't spend your life. You multiply your life. That's why I say be fruitful, multiply. You be, you, we are supposed to reproduce life minimum or multiply life or, you know, you subdue. We use life to subdue the earth. That's what we are supposed to do. 
But for that to happen, it means you have to know how to use the currency of life, of time. How to spend the currency of time. How to use the currency of time. So how do you use the currency of time? How can you use the currency of time not to buy just car, a mundane thing like car? How do you use the currency of time not just to buy house, the mundane things or, you know, you know mediocre things, like mundane things like a house? Why, how can you live your life in such a way that you will use your life, not exchange your life for car, not exchange your life for petty, petty, empty things like car, house, like for stones, for perishable things? How do you escape? Exchange your life for valuable things, for, you know, for great things like greatness. How do you exchange your life for eternal things? How do you exchange your life for treasure? How do you exchange your life for something that is really worth it? That's what we are going to be talking about today. So, all those people who became great is because they knew the secret of conversion of time and they know that the only instrument that converts time is work, but not job, not salary, working. Work just as an instrument of conversion, converting time to whatever you want. So because they know the secret of conversion, they converted their time into what they needed to have. And what they choose to have is greatness. And greatness will give you car later on. It will give you how many cars you want. Greatness will give you not just cars. Greatness will give you houses, um, as many houses as you want. Greatness will give you money, as many money as you, as much money as you want. Greatness, if you will use your life, exchange your life of greatness. If you will use the currency of your time to buy greatness, greatness then will give you every other thing you need in life. So, if, you, if there is something that you really need in life, listen, and you don't have, the reason you don't have it is because you are yet to pay the currency of time. Anything you have in life, you need in life, you can have. Only the price is you've got to exchange your life for it. You've got to pay the currency of time for it. So let now teach you, let me now teach you how to exchange your life, mortgage your life for greatness instead of for car. Let me now tell you how to exchange your, your time, your life for memorable things, for the future, for greatness instead of for, for house, instead of for food and bread and butter or just for utter vanity anyway. In some cases. So how do you do it? Like I said. Everything is bought. By the currency of time. So let's say I want to be great. Let, let's mention any great person. Let's mention Michelangelo, for example. Well, how did he get that greatness? Michelangelo, he, will, he knew that time is life. So, and time is passing automatically. Like I will use my example again. Time is passing automatically. This is your life. And this is life inside. This is, this is life inside. This is your body. This is you. This is your life inside. And it's passing automatically. It's passing by. It's passing by automatically. Either you use it or, or you don't use it. Or, or you, it's passing by. So people who are wise, they know that every minute of that time must be converted into something. They must intersect the outpouring of life, every second, every minute, intercept time and begin to convert it. So, the, what is the greatness of Michelangelo? Michelangelo discovered 
is the great, every great thing will start with discovering. You have to discover your area of calling, your area of gifting, your area of talent. We, I already did two weeks of teaching on that. If you did, if you missed it, go get it. Go to my blog, Sunday Elijah blog, go to the video blog, I mean Sunday Elijah blog.com or to my, to my YouTube, go and listen to all that teachings. So Michelangelo discovered that his own gift was in drawing. Good. So if, if, if you have to determine because it, it, the, the three questions of life is what, when, and where. What, when, and where. When you want to become great, you have to discover, you have to know what to do. What, what. You, you want the thing that, uh, uh, that 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 enables you to answer the question of what is your gift, your gift or your talent or your calling will help you to know what you must do. So in my own case, I want to raise reformers. I want to raise great men. Michelangelo, he needed to paint because that it is his gifting, his talent that dictated to him what to do. So, you know, I know somebody who is watching us right here and his own is discovery, his invention. Invention in the area of medicine. Okay, so you must know what to do. After you answer the question what, and for you to answer, you cannot answer the question what without discovering who you are, without discovering your calling and your gift. Okay, so Michelangelo answered the question what I'm going to draw. Why? Because he knows his gifting. That is the starting point for greatness. Now, the second question is, when? When? Did I say what? Sto, gde, kakda. So the next question Mike Michelangelo had to answer is when? When? That is the most important question. When answers the question of time? When answers the question of time? And that is the key. That is the currency. When? You see when? Life is pouring out every second. Every second is going. Every second is going. Every second is going. So what he needed to do is to make sure that he converts maximum amount of time that is passing by in the day. Because that is his life passing by. So what Michelangelo did is to answer the question, when? Now. He has to make use of every opportunity when he's not sleeping. If you are not sleeping, you are, you, you are, you know, every second that you are not sleeping, you should be converting that second. Every minute that you are not sleeping, you should be converting that minute, investing your life, investing your time into doing the thing that you have chosen for yourself to do. Now, what, what is greatness? Greatness is the amount of time you are able to invest into doing, into cultivating your brand. The amount of time, the length of time, the amount of time you are able to invest yourself, the quality of time, that's even better, the quality of time that you are able to convert, the quality of time you are able to convert into production, the quality of time you are able to convert into value. The quality of time that you are able to concentrate and use is what determines your greatness. For example, if you, I told, I just told you that we buy, money is what you use to buy everything. Let's say, for example, I said you wanted to buy a car that is costing $20,000 and you are only making in a day, maybe 
10, I mean, one hour, to one hour, uh, one hour, I mean, ten dollars an hour. I said, okay, you needed to work 10, 10, 10 years to be able to buy that car. But let's say you only work one, one year. If you only work one year, that money will not be enough to buy that particular car you want. The more time you dedicate, the quality of time you not just working like for salary, but in this case, because the difference between working for salary and working for your promised land is that when you work for salary, you are exchanging your life just for some porridge, just for some little salary, for some compensation. You are giving your life, but they are giving you only compensation that is called salary. Salary is the compensation you get for giving up your life, for mortgaging your life. But when you choose your own land of promise, when you choose your own talent, when you choose your own area of greatness, when you choose your own land of promise, when you choose your own area of greatness, your own calling, and you are working and converting your life into your own land of promise, you are not being compensated with salary. You are planting yourself. You are planting that your life. You are investing your time and your life into that your land of promise. That is what Michelangelo did. Michelangelo did. He was investing his own life back into his own destiny. Because your calling is your destiny. He was not giving out his life to somebody to be compensated for. He was giving back his life into himself, into his own calling, into his own destiny, into his own you know, future, into his own death. So the more time he's able to invest in himself, the quality of time he's able to put in himself determines the greatness. Okay, for example, if he goes there, because Michelangelo will go to his place, to his land of promise, He will go, Michelangelo will go to his studio and lock himself up for like three months. He will lock himself up there for three months. Why is he locking himself up for three months? Because he doesn't want time to pass by. He doesn't want to waste any time at all. He, he doesn't just want to work for eight hours a day or two hours a day or three. He was not playing or joking. If you really want to buy greatness with time, you must invest quality amount of time. Quality amount of time in your own land. The more you invest, the quality of time that you invest in your own land, the more productive the land becomes for you. So, when it's time, how much time are you ready to put into it? So, like I said, I I I said to you before, if anybody will invest 10,000 hours producing, researching, polishing himself, importing his own life, 10,000 hours of hard work on his own land of promise, that person will become great. That person will become exceptional. That person will become so good. That person will become a specialist. 10,000 hours only. And 10,000 hours is, is like 10 years of working 3 hours or four hours a day? Is it 10 years or 20 years? Yeah, ten, I think 10 years. Four hours a day for 10 years. If you work 10 hours, I mean, four hours a day for 10 years and, and you know, cultivate your own ground, polish your ground, and refine your gift, refine yourself, be good in what you are doing. For the next 10 years, three, four hours a day, it will be 10,000 hours. If you have 10,000 hours of hard work on your own land, you have invested yourself. By the time 10,000 hours elapses, you are already one of the best in that subject in the world. But people like Michelangelo, he did not invest 10,000 hours. He invested like 100,000 hours. That's why he became so great. People like Beethoven, he invented, he lived just for 30-something 30, 30 years old or something. He died young. And he was even dead. But he invested things like 50,000 hours. That's why we're all talking about Beethoven. You know, people like Einstein. They invested hours, 20,000, 30,000 hours in, what they do, in their own land of promise. In, in the case of Einstein, is in research, in discovery. 
So he was in, doing in laboratory most of the time, with mathematics most of the time, with physics most of the time, chemistry. And that's why they're able to get that result that they have. So, uh, so, so what am I trying to say? What is your gift? When is all the time? It is, when is, uh, is now? Is conversion of time? And where, where, what are you supposed to do? When and where? where what is territory? What are you going to be? Are you supposed to be working in the studio like Michelangelo? Are you supposed to be working in the laboratory like like uh, like Einstein? Are you supposed to be working in the internet like me, or preaching to people? Where is territory? Where are you you decide what country, what 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 sphere of influence, what what area, what territory are you conquering? Where, what sphere of life, what area do you expect greatness? In what area do you want to become an expert? In what area do you wish to be great? So, by the time you are great, everything looks for you. By the time you are great, everything looks for you. Let me show you an example of greatness. Let me show you an example of greatness. All right? How that works. Because we all have time, right? We all have time. Let's say we have two people, two people. One is Andrew and the other one is Alex. One is Andrew, one is Alex. Okay. Alex is a tailor. Alex is a tailor. And, I'm uh, sorry, Andrew is a tailor and Alex is a tailor as well. So Andrew is a tailor and Alex is a tailor. Two of them are tailors. But Alex, as he always works on himself, you know, we, have, we all have 24 hours a day. Alex does self-education. He studies the subject. He studies the, uh, the instrument, the, the mechanism that could make him to become a better tailor. He knows the latest technology in tailoring. He knows the latest technology of clothes, material, everything. He is always adding value to himself. What is he doing? He is converting his time. He's not allowing any time to pass. Converting his time, although you don't see anything yet, but into value, into himself. He is creating value with his time. He's turning his time into value. But Andrew is just going to work. He doesn't bother to add value to himself. He's just going to work. Let's say... At the end of the year, Andrew has learned to do one suit. They are both tailor, you know. So let's say Andrew does produces one suit, one suit in a month. So at the end of the year, Andrew produces 12 suits. Average quality. But because Alex has added so much value into himself, has studied the subject very well, has used his time judiciously, Andrew is producing 12, or tw let's say 12, this one is producing 12 a year of average quality, but and I mean, Alex, because of the, the quality of value, he has converted his time to all this while, he is producing 12, not a year, but 12 a month, but highest quality. So, by the end of the year, uh, Alex, has, I mean, Andrew has produced only 12 suits. But Alex has produced 144 quality suits. So, Alex, let's even say they are selling it for the same price. Let's even say they are selling it for the same price. So, Alex has sold his own suit for $100 each. So, he's having $1,000. 200, 1,200, 1,200 dollars. Andrew, that's what he got. Andrew has sold his own for 100 dollars. Let's even say 1,000 dollars. Okay, if, if he sold it for 1,000 dollars each every month, he's getting uh, 10, 12,000 dollars at the end of the year. That is what Andrew is making. He's a, law, he's a tailor and he's a tailor. But Alex is making that amount, 12,000 dollars. Every month, 
is making that amount of $10,000 or $20,000, $12,000 every month. By the end of the year, he's making over $100,000. He's eight, making $100,000. Why? The same time, now look at the lesson I want to teach. Listen closely here. The time given to the two of them is one year. This one, Andrew had one year and Alice had one year. Same time. Same time. But the, for that same 12 months, one year of time, same time is passed. So who will make more money? The one that used a whole year to produce 12 clothes or the one that used a whole year to produce 144 suits who will sell if the price is the same who will make more money who, who is going to become great of course it is andrew i mean it is alex alex is making 144 suits and is going to sell it at the end of the day who becomes rich so time is the same amount of time but where is greatness greatness is in the quality of time that Alice converted into value. He turned his time. He didn't just go to work. He turned his time into creating value for himself. He's adding, he added value into himself before he started creating value to others. He became a specialist. He learned how to do the thing fast. He knows how to do the thing competitively. He knows all the instruments that could work for him, the machine, everything. So because he had added value to himself, now when he's going to create products or add value to other people, he's able to do it faster. He's able to produce more. So who is going to become rich? Alice is going to become rich and Andrew is just surviving. Same time, different results. Same time, different wealth. Same time, different greatness. Okay, let's, let's use another example. Like in my own church here, I have builders. I have contractors, builders. I have businessmen. There are, there are businessmen in my church that are building houses. So let's say uh, one is John and the other one is Joshua. So John spends a whole year. In a whole year, he builds one house. And he's happy. So he's making money. He makes maybe $10,000 from that house. So he makes money. One, one house. Same one year. But one house. You see, he, he, what was he doing the whole year? Nobody knows. But it takes him one year to build a house. Because he's not converting time. Everything is about conversion. He's just working. He's not converting time. He, he could allow time to pass everything. He's not converting time. He was only able to convert that amount of time that is enough for him to build one house. But the other guy, Joshua, who's been taught about converting every minute, about converting every second, Joshua builds in one year 12 houses. 12 houses. So instead of making, this one is making 10000 in a year, this one is making 120000 US dollars a year. Why? Because he, the same amount of time, but conversion is the difference and added value. That is why I call the, the message of yesterday, the, the message of this morning that I wanted to preach, I wanted to call this same message this morning, your net worth depends on your added value. It is the added value of how much you are able to convert your time to, to added value. So, not allowing time to go, but converting time into added value is what creates your wealth, your, your wealth and your worth. So, so, in one year, this one got one house, this one got two houses. So, who's, become, who's going to become great? The one that was able to maximize time. The one that is able to you know, you know, use every minute of his life to, to, to convert maximum amount of time. He, he, he was not wasting or trivializing his time. He was converting his time to added value into himself and added value into his skills. Because he added, he turned the time, he converted time into added value for himself in knowledge, in skills, 
He converted his time into added value in, in you know, into the production process or what he's producing, the good or service that he's producing. So he's able to use the same amount of time to produce more result. So your net worth depends on your added value. Anybody that you ever heard that is great is because they were able to convert as much time as possible, maximum amount of time, into added value to themselves or added value to others or added value to, to a product, to the product or service that they are creating, that they are producing. For example... There is this. There is a guy here who they call Olukayo Day. Uh, I don't know if he's here today. Olukayo Day. Uh, what was it your surname again? Fr from Port Harcourt. Olukayo Day Ekundayo, yeah, Ekundayo, I think. Olukayo Day Ekundayo. He just wrote me a note. He just wrote me a note yes no a few days ago and is this it might be a, a good example for you and what did he write there he wrote it actually here in the in the in the comment in the comment here he says sir you as you are so practical and what he's trying to say is that you are so effective you are so practical I have just analyzed your imp, 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 input. Today makes 120 days of this daily program. This is what Olukayo Day wrote. Today makes 120 days of this daily program. That equals to 240, 240 hours of your sermon. Because I come two times a day, right? 240 hours of your sermon that is equivalent to four years of sunday sunday sermons so if you are to be preaching every sunday you have produced the result of four years four years result that average pastor produce average pastor produce you know a message a good real message every sunday they it is what they produce in four years. He said you have been able to produce in four months, and he's saying, Pastor Sunday, this is awesome. You are a world record breaker. This should go into the Guinness Book of Records. Do you so that's what he's saying? What, what the difference is, I've just explained to you. I'm a pastor, another person is a pastor. So why is it that Pastor Sunday, everybody knows about Pastor Sunday? Conversion. Conversion. Okay, for example, these four months I've been doing this, some people, many pastors have started doing the same thing. Many pastors have started doing the same thing. So many, if you go to Facebook now, many pastors are now using their Facebook live streaming. Good. Everybody is copying the same thing. But not any one of them has been able to do as consistently for one hour, twice a day, no human being has ever been able to do that. Because I know something. I am converting. Now you might want to ask, what is the result? You, it's not visible. But I know that time, I, I am doing something with that time. And if you gather 1,000 pastors, that time that I'm using twice a day, they don't even remember what they use it for. But you will not you, you remember what I use my for because it's touching you. It's changing you. Some of you now are becoming uh, you know successful. You are becoming productive just because of four months of me coming every day. Some of you didn't even listen to me four months. Some of you have only listened to me maybe one month or two weeks or three weeks, but you are already having testimonies. Why? You have now become my resource. You have now become my product. Because of me converting my time into value, creating value in others. 
bringing value to others, giving you values. So this is only the one you see, but I'm doing other projects all the time. So it is about time. So if anybody says, what is the secret of Pastor Sunday? Why is it so great? You know what some Christians will say? Oh, because uh, God just favored him. God just anointed him. Or some people will say, oh, it's because he's, uh, uh, he's, he's, in, he's in Ukraine. He's so easy in Ukraine. Or because he's in Europe. No. Greatness and any result you see anywhere is because of a the, the, an amount of time that is well converted. It is it, everything, if you need greatness, buy it with the currency of your time. It is the currency, the same currency everybody was given. Every human is been given the same resource. Every one of us, everybody in this world, we were given the same amount of wealth. wealth. But some people are allowing their wealth to just sleep by them, sleep by them. They waste life. But some people just go the easy way. Most people go the easy way. What is the easy way? Spend life. They go and exchange their life. They mortgage their life for some little salary. So, because that's the easy way. That is the easy way. They just go and mortgage their life for easy salary. Instead of them to go and cultivate their land. To go and cultivate their, their, their promised land. Their talent. So instead of them to invest in themselves so that they could be productive, multiply, and reproduce themselves to fulfill the earth. Greatness is something that it could be bought and is being bought, could only be bought from the, with the currency of time. So also is well. So just the same way I told you, money also is a byproduct of time. You see the people, the, the, you remember the suit makers? The two suit makers, the one that converted time all the time, that converted time into, into hard value to himself and converted time into skills, is able to make more money at the end of the day. The same amount of time, one year, he's becoming a millionaire and the other one is just complaining that market is difficult, country is difficult. The same thing with the person that is, that is, uh, that is, that is, uh, that's building houses. The same one year, and so, that one is just building one house, but the other one, because he's converting his time so intensively, not allowing time to pass, not trivializing time, he's able to build 12 houses. The same amount of time. The same currency given to us. The same amount of wealth given to all of us. But one is converting his time in, into value for himself, for others, or into product. And some of them are not, most people are not doing that. So, for example, let's take the problem, let's say you are called to resolve the problem of electricity in Nigeria or in your country. It's the same principle. Go and give yourself, you know, minimum amount of time that you want to be converting or investing into research, into electricity. So, so you are saying, okay, I will be investing three to four years, I mean, to four hours every day in researching into this problem of electricity. I'm going to resolve it. All of us could give birth to anything we want. So in the next 10 years of working three, four hours a day, you have been able to invest 10,000 hours. And there is no way you will invest 10,000 hours in anything without producing something. And then if you practice solitude with it, other ideas will be coming. God will just be filling you up with other ideas. People like Bill Gates. Bill Gates says he goes away for two weeks every year just to lock himself up. He is going to convert those two weeks into products. Into hours of bringing results. Into ideas. Into productivity. Into shutting out everything so that he could reproduce. He could convert. The amount of time you are able to convert in adding value to yourself, in adding value to your process of production, to your subject, to your promised land, the more productive you become and the, great, the, more, the greater you become. Greatness is at the fingertip of every one of us. 
Greatness is just at your fingertips. Greatness is just at your fingertips. If you will decide today that no second, no minute will pass you by, that you will use every minute of your day converting it to become whoever you wish to become. Instead of just going the easy way and mortgaging your life for salary. Well, I think my time is up. Uh, I'm going to continue this tomorrow. So, um, what do I say? Let's go and if you have not shared the link yet, let's go share this link, please. Let's go share the link. Let's go share this link. Okay, let's go share the link. If you have not shared the link, go to your timeline, go and look for the share button, and let's share the link. Once you finish sharing the link, let's, or if you have shared the link already, let's hear your comments. I want to hear your comments. Let's uh, write down our comments. What do you think about this message you are hearing? What did you get from the message? Did it give you anything? Did you receive anything? Were you blessed? Tell me something. Is anybody writing anything? What did you get? I need to hear your feedback. I need to hear if you got something from this message or not, or I just wasted my time on you. I know I didn't waste my time, but I still need to hear you talk. Ezzy Good said, Lord, help me to help me to totally understand the man of God and act upon God's word. Wow, for you to totally understand me, you need to go and listen to this. That's why you must share this link and go and listen to it for as many times as possible. Obi Mara Obi, I know you are coming and you are looking for me, but I'm in my solitude this week. I'm in solitude. Somebody will get in touch with you from my office. So, but I'm waiting for you in Ukraine, okay? I'll be here by time. I'll be here for you. But this week, I'm not, uh, I'm not available for the outside world. I'm in solitude this week. Aim Christine Aretano said, Wow, God bless you, Pastor. Very well said. Okay. Shigo Nwafo said, mm, I am eating so much here. My mouth is so full. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Christopher Odetola said, Result not visible. Result not visible? Please, that's not true. Pastor, you have changed several lives. Oh, okay. It's answering me. You have changed several lives and several families. Revolution has started. Amen. In Nigeria. Good, 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 good. Anastasia McDonald said, buy greatness with the currency of time. Yes. Obina Ofoshuku, how could I block you? I couldn't block you. Maybe that happened. By, but if you, are, if you are blocked, how come you are writing here? Obina I don't think I, I will check anyway, but if you if I block you, you will not be here. If you are here, it means you are not blocked. But I will check anyway. Baba Tunde Rashid Olushina said, I, Pastor, I'm highly blessed with your message. Hallelujah. Shigo said, the Lord is your strength. Same 24 hours as us, all fully maximized. That is the secret. That is the secret. Afolabi says he's only been here for three days and it's already loaded on this platform. That is good. Three days. Wow. Ufo Oma said, yes, pastor, you are truly converting time and transforming lives. I am beside myself thinking of how to redeem time. God bless. Yeah, make sure you go and convert all these messages into, into products, into quality, into value in yourself, in you. <laughs> she go well for you are so funny. I, I can't wait to see you. You look, you you are, you look like a, a, a power bond, an energy bond. You know, look at what she say. You are impregnating so many people at one time. <laughs> In time, the kids will be springing up everywhere. Twins, triplets, etc. <laughs> you are somebody. I can't wait to see you, in Ukraine. She go, wow. <laughs> I'm expecting your children first. <laughs> Gregory said, uh, Pastor Sunday has broken record. Well, I want you to break record. Enoch, uh, do sing, gizzy man, 
man has said, this is truth, true message, but many needed these teachings, if possible, to make it and make people effective, effective. Wow. Okay. Asumuga Christian. Right now, I'm making a suit jacket and listening to you at the same time. Oh, wow. That's interesting. <laughs> Kike Moronkeji said, Pastor Sunday, what about people that haven't invested 10,000 hours but inve invested in a technology that has yielded huge? Yeah, why not? But I'm just saying 10,000 hours it will guarantee you results. Sometimes you, you might just be 2,000 hours away from results. But if you invest 10,000 hours, that is a guaranteed result. Anastasia, you, you say your net work depends on your added value. Okay. <laughs> Not just net worth, but net work as well, right? <laughs> Joseph Oyewale says, same time, different result. The distinction is in the quality of value converted through time currency conversion, right? She goes, say, greatness is value converted within minimum time, okay? <laughs> Glory Baye said, you are really loaded. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you share a, a lawyer, but say, Thank you, Pastor, for your motivating message. I have learned that success is definitely predictable if I use my time wisely. Yep. Grigory Femi said, Sir, can we have all your messages in CDs? Yes. I, you know, there is a guy, I mean, I gave you people the contact of the Epre Tiger or uh, Ben, Ben Opute. They were here, they are here. You can look for them on Facebook. They they give they can give you the the messages for free, and if you want, you can go and be producing them and make money on them. Go and go, go and put them in CDs and make them for free and make them uh, sell them and make money for yourself. Why not? You know, I'm giving making it available for everybody. Anybody who wants to go and do the CDs and sell them, go and convert them to into money and make money for yourself. Why not? Just make sure that you put quality photograph or name of Pastor Sunday there. Hilary Ademol, Adam Olekun say, very great message today. Thank you. Nikki Christian say, Pastor, I'm just speechless. I don't have much to say, but I got a lot to show my action and my product will speak louder to show for. Amen. I received that. That's good. Uh, Rachel Igbinovia said, I came back from vacation to being out of work temporarily, but instead of getting upset, I'm being worried your life cast is helping me. Yeah. Go and listen to all this series this week. Glory said, this is epic. I'm ready to add value to my gifting. Brilliant. Tatiana says, I'll buy my greatness through time. Yes, you buy your greatness with time, through time. I also have to make up for the lost time. So the time for me is compressed. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Glory said, Pastor, thank you. Your message has revolutionized me. My mindset I've listened to you for a week now, and I can attest to that. Yeah, <laughs> just one week. Wow, you need to go and listen to all the other messages. Find the time. Go and look for the other recordings because, you know, a lot of things there will just add value to you. <laughs> Nigeria Arise says, eye-opening. It's as if the message should not end. Yeah, I'm going to continue the message tomorrow. So if you have, go share this link and we're going to continue it tomorrow, okay? Molly said, thank you, sir. It means there is still hope for me. <laughs> Elizabeth said, Pastor, thank you so much. All I can hear is conversion, conversion, time is life. I must buy my greatness with the currency of time. Matthew says, bless your words. It's true, we, all, we, we are all 
ways, uh, find ways to go or something. Florence says, everywhere I went to, toilet, train station, bathroom, I either listen to messages, write, think, plan, or speak in tongues. Productive day. Yeah, that's the way to live. You got in it. You are getting it now. <laughs> As he said, yes, pregnant. <laughs> Mujola Esther said, God is with me. I came in contact with your teaching during a time of despair, despair and God is feeding me with the manner of life. Thank God, thank God. In case your or officer said, thanks, Pastor. The use of time has been a topic never properly thought like this. God bless you. You too. As he says, thank you, Pastor. I'm so blessed. You are so needed. I shall walk in all the knowledge. The lights are on. Conversion is my portion. <laughs> Christina Lampe said, good evening, doctor. I know exactly what you are talking about. And I want to thank you for a wonderful teaching again. Thank you. Apostle Yomi says, you are very right, sir. Well done for the precious time you have invested to transform life. More grace, sir. I'm blessed to follow. I don't know why this thing is cutting off for the comments. Pastor Sunday, what about people that, okay, I've read that. Tina Stephen says, I now know that greatness is determined by how you decide to convert your time to become valuable. Yes, you got it. You got it now. Prince Savi says, sir, how can I get with you privately? You can get in touch with me privately by writing me. My email is pastor at godembassy.org. Godembassy is one word, godembassy.org. Let me bring us sincerely. I realize my mistakes and there is still hope for me. Bless you, sir. Amarion Jesus, Eshiri Jesus said, Everything you have said is in the Bible, teaches us to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom. Yes. E.D. Peter said, Pastor, thank you so much today. It's my first day at this webinar. Thank you, sir. Wow. For the people who are asking for the messages, go to my blog, sundayadelajablog.com, and you'll be able to see the video blog there, and you'll see the playlist of all the other messages. DK Christabel said, I really enjoyed the message. Time, time, time. Grace to maximize my time. Thank you, sir. God bless. Uh, Philip Adeyemi said, thank you. It's time well invested. Kike Moronkeji, it isn't only about praying, but my working must be able also be effective, right? <laughs> Another person is saying, Pastor, I'm so blessed. I wish we should just continue. <laughs> the other one says, I think we shouldn't stop. This is Femi saying that. <laughs> Mary Oben, I will convert my time to add value to my network. Yep. Minke said, yes, it is a great blessing. I respond later on. It has to sink in. <laughs> Tola Tola said, I'm blessed. Okay. Kike says, I repent of being lazy mentally. I have been challenged this evening to invest a significant amount of time in developing my ideas. Yep. Joseph Oyewale said, the kingdom of God is like a man who sow a seed in the ground, he sleeps and wakes up, he knows not the earth produces on his own. Yep. Then Agbo said, sir, you are truly a great icon of this time. Thank you. Galena Krishenka, to value time is to honor God who gave this time. Yes, when we value time, we honor God who gave us that time. Akin first Samuel, unquantifiable indeed. So much value you add to yourself when you utilize time positively. It distinguishes and sets you apart. You're right. Tiger Diepre. Oh, for the guy who wanted to do CD, get in touch with Tiger Diepre. He's here. The miracle most of us need is oh, okay. The miracle most of us need is effective use of our time. Yeah. That instead of looking for prophets and pastors to lay hands on you, just use your time. Wale Cox say, thank you, Pastor. You open my heart and mind spiritually. Well done, sir. Thank you. Nkiru Ojimadu said, the topics are always shallow 
compared to the depth, the messages, and weight they carry. <laughs> Uh, glory say driving Maryland and feeding my brain with this epic teaching. <laughs> if you are, I will go back and listen to this message very well. Anastasia say, Oh, yes, listening to you is like having once my been put through a high speed washing machine <laughs> and getting rid of all the old, unproductive stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shioma is saying, thank you so much, Pastor. I cannot thank you enough, certainly. I must listen to this again tonight. The currency of time. The currency, yeah, the currency. I, I don't know why this thing is cutting. Pastor, you are a blessing to all. God bless you richly. Thank you. That's Odafe. Tutu, Shofu, Wara. Consistency, consistency, producing momentum, which leads to greatness. Thank you, Pastor. Lyo shouts Emmanuel, mm, 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 and again, mm, <laughs> speechless, but it is well. I definitely got for myself, but this message is bigger than, I don't know why this, my comments have been cut off. If anybody is listening to me, Igor, you have to come to see me now, if you are there. If anybody is in my house here, yeah, and tell Igor to come and see me, to come and fix this thing. Obi Ojima, the pastor, I have been your disciple for many years, yet every day you make me discover the unlimited achievements I can still attain. Yeah? <laughs> Glory to God, Obi. Oshino Wokein, they said, Pastor, you are great. We need you in Nigeria. Come home, please. Oh. Which is your own Oshino Wo? I used to know some Oshino Wo from my area, from my Ijebu village. Are you one of my... Uh, acquaint acquaintance Oshino uh, you know? Akita Deobo Yemi said God bless you sir you are changing our lives daily thank you Bolu Jide Enri Oluwa oh Enri Oluwa bless pastor Jide Enri Oluwa blesses long time thanks for God inspired message that is practical and I have to reproduce myself my eyes have opened again it is very timely thank you Nikki said pastor I'm just speechless yeah she will show it by our result, she said. Nkem DK, time invested listening to you is no way, sir. I must now convert this teaching into valuable products. Yep. Fisayo, wow, you, you started to write now. That Thank God. Fisayo said, I was on my feet all through this teaching. I could not see it. Pastor, you spoke to the seed of greatness in me. I must convert huge quantity. Brilliant. Afolabi said, it takes a man of value to add value to others. Thank you, my coach. Yetunde Omoile, me. A wonderful teaching again, as always. In fact, I'm speechless. But I know there is no more time wasting every second count. Yep. Shigo says, there is just so much to shoe on today. So, so much. I know these days are just days of conception for me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Afolabi <laughs> uh, say, every greatness, everything great requires time and patience. Yes. Easy says, for such a time as this, may God increase you, sir. You too. Jefferson, I have started seeing results already. Expecting my first check soon. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's nice to be with you guys. I will be back tomorrow morning as usual. 7.30 a.m. British time, Nigerian time, 7.30 a.m. as well. And, um, uh, yeah, and 7 p.m. in the evening for Nigerian time and British time. Uh, for Americans, it's 2.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And for uh, other people, just use that time to gauge. Flair Karim Matip. Let me quickly read a few comments that are coming in. Thank you, Pastor. You have challenged my mind and thoughts today again. I'm working in many uh, different areas at the same time. Brilliant, brilliant. Daniel Oshonma. The messages are an eye-opener, and I have seen that time rightly invested is the is to one's advantage. Thank you. Shigo again says, I always knew there was more to me, but today I know there is surely more to me. 
the possibilities are just endless. Yep. Anastasia says she can't wait till tomorrow. Undifon saying, thank you, Pastor. May you live long to educate us still more. <laughs> thank you. Joseph Oye Wale, thanks a million. We love you. Much regard. Much grace to you. I will reply your letter, sir, Pastor Joseph, when after I come out of my, maybe next week, after I come out of my solitude. Okay, we'll see you people tomorrow. Elizabeth said, we love you, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, every one of you. Blessings to you. See you people tomorrow morning. Blessings, bye.